Stephen here from History Hustle and I'm standing in Phnom Penh in front of the S21 Toll Slang Prison. And in this video I'll talk about the ECCC, also known as the Extraordinary Chambers in the Court of Cambodia, also known as the Cambodia Tribunal. The tribunal where the leaders, the foreign leaders of the Khmer Rouge were trialed for their crimes against humanity, genocide, war crimes. As of yet, there are three persons tried. The first one is Kyang Hek F, also known as the Doik, the director of the notorious prison where we are now. He was kept responsible for educating his assistants to torture and eventually executed people. In this prison, 15,000 people were tortured and eventually executed, and only around seven survived. He was kept responsible for the death of 1,200 272 people. At first, he was sentenced to 35 years of prison. Later, he was sentenced to life imprisonment. He openly stated his remorse and his regret. <laughs> Then there were Nunche and Kyu Safan, both former Khmer Rouge leaders were tried for genocide, war crimes and crimes against humanity and were both sentenced to life imprisonment in September 2010. They both stated that they knew nothing about the mass murders and only did what they had to do to keep the Vietnamese out of Cambodia. Looking from outside, people would consider that I was someone of authority. Indeed, at that time, my title was huge. But in reality, I had no power at all. I had no authority whatsoever to order the arrest of anyone. I was working in the top position that I did not know what was going on uh, on the ground, particularly ordinary people at the base. I did not know that the people had been tortured and abused. Then there were Ieng Sari, Minister of Foreign Affairs, and Ieng Firit, Minister of Social Affairs. Both were about to be tried for genocide, crimes against humanity, and war crimes, but they died before the sentence. Never tried were Paul Pot, the leader of the Khmer Rouge. He died in 1998 and also Tamok, known as the Butcher of Cambodia. He died in 2006. There's a lot of criticism against this tribunal. First point is that the current government of Cambodia is influencing the tribunal. That being said, the current Prime Minister, Ho Sen, was a former Khmer Rouge party member. Therefore, a lot of countries stop their donations because the Cambodia tribunal is dependent on donations mainly coming from Japan but with the decreasing donations of controversy and also the crisis problems arise and it brings us to the second point of criticism which is money a lot of Cambodians think that the tribunal rips open old mental wounds and also that the whole sum of money can better be invested in the current Cambodian economy really, really needs it. But that being said, I think that this tribunal is an international gesture to show that these crimes cannot be tolerated and go undamned. However, a lot of murderers from back then are still walking around freely nowadays.